Hello, welcome to the Keyence IX training module. Today we'll discuss how to use the IX's height tool. This is the most basic tool available with the IX. The sensor simply calculates the distance from the sensor head to a point on the target using the principle of laser triangulation. The IX determines if a target is OK or no good by comparing the height measurement of the current target to the measurement of the registered master image. Today we'll talk about how to use the tool in scan mode. In scan mode, you'll first complete your detection setup and master registration. Then it's time to add our height tool. Click add tool and select height, then press OK. Now click on the target you want to measure the height of. I'm using this IS demo tool, and for this example, we'll say I want to measure this point. When you first place your measurement point, you'll be able to choose between three different size options, small, normal, and large. Select this based on the size of your measurement target. For this example, we'll choose normal and then click next. If you want to go back and change the size or position, you can click on measurement position settings. You can also adjust the reading of the measurement using the zero offset feature. Let's say this is my master part and I want to read how far off future parts are from this master. I have my offset set to zero, so I can click the zero offset button and that will change my reading to zero. Now I can set my tolerances based on the master part. Let's say I have a tolerance of plus or minus 0.5 millimeters. I can set my high or upper limit to 0.5 and my low or lower limit to negative 0.5. I'll hit test to show you how this works. In test mode, we can view a live image of the sensor. If I take the measured piece out of our demo tool, the measurement falls far below our tolerances and we get a no good reading. If I swap a taller piece under the measurement point, the measured value is above our 0.5 millimeter tolerance and I get a no good reading. When I put the original measure piece back in, we see we're back between our limits and we get an OK reading. Now I'll click End Test, and for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll click Clear to get the measured value back. I'll also change my high and low limits to 5.5 and 4.5 respectively. In the extended functions, we have more options for our height tool. First, you have the option to specify your measurement range. This can help speed up the processing time of a program by limiting how much of the vertical area the sensor is scanning. For example, if you want the IX to ignore any values outside of plus or minus 5 millimeters from the measured point, you can set the range to plus or minus 5 millimeters. You can see everything outside of that height range gets marked with this red overlay. You can also rename the tool. For example, this is my bottom left feature, so I can name this height tool bottom left and it will change the name. You can also perform a two-point calibration, which is used when the measured values don't quite match the real-world values you'd expect. In most cases, you do not need to enable this. For more information on this function, please refer to the dedicated video on two-point calibration. For now, I'll press close here, then OK. Now we can press next to step four, and because our outputs aren't relevant for this video, I'll click complete settings, and then yes. Now that I'm back on my main screen, I'll put the sensor in run mode, and you can see we're able to measure our part and determine a good versus no good measurement. Thank you for watching.